Hey everybody, so just this morning on Ruby Lane, I had the sale that you can see here on my screen for this vintage hair clip or hair barrette for $36. Now granted, it's a sterling silver hair barrette, but the reason I had wanted to share this with you today is that today we're going to be talking about hair accessories and hair tools. And I think these are things that can, that can be easily overlooked at thrift stores, at estate sales, garage sales, things like that. This barrette in particular, I ended up finding in a bag of hair hair accessories at the thrift store, just hanging on their, their bag wall in the health and beauty section, and could have easily been overlooked by lots and lots of people. It just looked like someone was cleaning out their vanity or cleaning out their hair things that they no longer used. Everything just got thrown in the bag and it got sent to the thrift store. So there was a hidden gem in that bag of hair accessories. And so today, what I thought we would do is talk more about hair accessories and hair tools in general. And we are going to talk about what, which ones would be worth listing on eBay. Are there hair accessories? Are there tools that we want to spend our time on? Like, is, is it just a waste of time? Now, you may be surprised at the value of some of these items that I'm going to show you today. Now, like all the research videos that I do, I'm not saying go out and buy all the hair accessories that you find at thrift stores and yard sales. I'm not saying you're going to build an entire reselling business on these things. But if you're an everything seller, kind of like myself and Mr. Pishposh, I like to be educated on different areas of the thrift store I'm already there, so I'm already I'm just going to go ahead and look at some of those sections where I might not find a home run every single time I look, but I'm going to look at the ties and I'm going to look at the picture frames and I'm going to have that knowledge that I've researched to to know which things are worth picking up and adding to my my online stores. So I just like to share those things with you. Now, today I had wanted to do this research ever since I had found those those vintage hair picks that I shared with you in an earlier video. Um, so it kind of got me thinking there were some things I had some vague knowledge of in the past. And so I wanted to hone that a little bit and, and then share those things with you as well. Now, if so if you're already at the thrift store, just go ahead, just look, you know, look in the health and beauty, go in the estate sale, go into the bathroom, check the drawers, things like that, the little containers on the counters and look for things. You might even have some of these in your own vanities and closets and cabinets at home, which you're not using and you'd be surprised at how desirable they are. And as always, we're gonna get right into this next, but as always, this is just a starting point. We're not doing deep, deep dive research. This is to give you ideas and then I always encourage you guys to go do your own research on these things. I'm going to give you some examples. But you go look at sell-through rate and, and things and see if it's worth your time for the way you run your business. Um, you know, some of these things might take a little while to sell. So you have to decide if that's worth it for you. So we are going to go to eBay because most of our um, research that we do for these videos. We like to just stick with eBay because that's what most people are familiar with. And we're going to start with some hair barrettes. So I looked up a hair barrette that I knew of that was desirable and the brand is Goody. We're going to talk about Goody a lot today. And a lot of what we're going to talk about is vintage today. We like vintage and it's kind of in that same vein of health and beauty, things that are discontinued or even nostalgia type things are things that people are looking for. So there's a barrette that they made and I know I wore these and I, when I first learned about them, I went digging around in my, <laughs> in my own little stashes of hair things to see if I had any. But Goody Vintage Stay Tight Barrettes, the faux tortoise look on these especially. Now look at these new in package from the 90s, 80s, 90s. Um, these are 82, so they made them for quite a while. But look at the, the price of these packages. Now someone had a little stash of them because they're selling them for $130 over and over again. 
Here's some more for 125. So as you can see, new old stock is going to, to do the best. That's a recurring theme in our video today because yeah, a lot of people don't want to put used hair things in their hair. Um, a lot of stuff can get washed, so I don't see the big deal, but new old stock is always going to give you the better return. So here we go down. These are pre-owned, listed as pre-owned. So what I did in the next tab is I switched it over to pre-owned to used to just to see, you know, if it's worth picking them up if they're not, um, you know, new old stock. So we get past, someone had a big old stash of these as well. But here's two blue ones that are just on their own that sold for $50. And here's some... Here's, oh yeah, that's two. Okay, so $50 seems to be a good rate for some of these used ones. Here's another brand. I've never known how to say that. Is it Scunchy? Scuncy? Scunty? <laughs> Somebody knows. You'll let me know in the comment. And then there's some groupings of them and things like that. So Stay Tight Barrettes. Another barrette that we want to talk about. I actually have... A little baggie of these myself so what we're talking about you you probably know if these are bringing back memories for you guys I wore these too um, you know they're the little here let me go bigger the little you know 3d figural little plastic hair barrettes and they had all different ones there's cats and there was birds and I so I had picked up this little baggie of them it was a bunch of little pastel spring spring themed ones and then I just pick them up as I go and I just throw them in this bag so sometimes I just find one or two at a thrift store and so I've just been hanging on to them and I'll get them listed eventually but let's look at some of the prices so as you can see, someone had this huge lot of them that sold for $40. Here's some more vintage goodies, snap tight, kitty barrettes made in the USA, like new old stock for $40. Here's some more that sold. So again, we're seeing new old stock is the way to go, but someone did a theme of like green ones for $25. Now here's two 1960s hair barrettes. Um, they're, they're labeled goodie. I actually think I have a single of one of these. I was thinking it was in this container, but, um, I think I have them someplace else, but it looks very, very familiar. Um, anyway, here's another kind of lot of them. Now this one is the blue lovebird 60s, 70s. You can see what I'm seeing on these older ones, right? Okay, look, look back at this. The, the mechanism is metal. So I think that lets you know that it's older. The ones I remember from like the 70s and 80s are plastic all the way around. So that's very interesting. This bird one with the metal clip sold for $20 by itself. So very, very interesting. Now, I have sold these 3D ones in the past. Now, these are kind of older listings. I sold these on Etsy, you know, it was quite a few years ago. But I had 52 of these. I sold for $30. And then here's another one, I think another $30. I don't say how many I had in that grouping, but probably about the same. And some weren't, you know, some are paired up and some were not. They were like singles. So I had pairs and singles that I just put together. And that was another $30. Interesting, right? So while we're on this little um, memory lane thing, let's talk about the twin bead ponytailers. <laughs> now look at that. $90 for our new old stock. These painful hair ponytail bead thingies. I actually have some of those too. I'll put one over here. Um, I just found these recently and I don't know if mine are all by Goody. I just have some loose like pre-owned ones. Remember that clack, 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 clack sound? Anyway, and then you, 
your mom's fingers would slip and it knock you in the head and it would hurt really bad. Okay, so yeah, new old stock of these, definitely something I'm keeping an eye out for. If we go down, I think we get to some that are loose. Oh, here. $28 knocker ball style, right? Hair ties. They're, they're calling that. So they, they threw the name Goody in there. There's a certain style that Goody has with the metal little thing in the middle. Anyway, ponytail holders. Look at that. Super cute. That looks like the blue one I just showed you. $25. So you can sell them loose. Um, just maybe not for as much. Very interesting. And can't you just see, I mean, I've come across the same thing. Someone just had, you know, a bag of these barrettes at an estate sale or a yard sale. Um, the ones I showed you on Etsy that I sold, same thing, just a bag of them at the thrift store. So just keep an eye out in those bags. You just, you never know what people are getting rid of. Now, as I research hair barrettes, um, one thing that I noticed quite a bit was that, um, Barrettes that were made in France seem to do pretty well. And even when I, I've researched um, some of my own hair accessories that I still have, like from the 80s and the 90s, and a lot of them are marked France. And so that's good to keep in mind. Um, now, of course, any of these research videos we do, a lot of them as we're researching highest to lowest, we're going to come across... Um, designers, right? So we've got some Chanel um, things that are coming up in our results. But like, look at this one. This is a Christian Dior. It's a hair clip made in France. But if I saw that, that looks like any kind of 80s hair clip that I had back in the day. And I might not pay close attention to it. But if I saw that it was Marc Christian Dior, I would be super, super happy. But I'm just saying at first glance, it might not be something that you're like, ooh. So here's a little lot of it looks like metal made in France hair barrette sold for $130. Here's some plastic ones from the 70s and 80s. That was a, a really big lot. But here's some singles of some Lucite hair clips and they're marked made in France. That one's a Kirk's Folly. This one is very interesting with an elephant and all sorts of things going on, but no brand on that one, just France. Um, this is a velvet hair clip with rhinestone sold for $65. Here's some a fancy metal one made in France. Uh, some hair combs. Very um, ornate designs and, and things. This red one right in the middle. I actually have that one right here. And it is. It's marked France on it. It's kind of a um, moon glow little bit of kind of pearlescent style to it. I don't know that I would list this one separately, but, um, you know, if I get some more clip hair, hair combs, that would be worth lotting up like that. Anyway, so just something to keep in mind, France having, you know, France be the place that these barrettes are made can add value to them. So, like this, this is something I totally had very similar style in the eighties. And, um, you know, sold for $40. So like I said, do some research, you know, scan through it, look through your own old hair accessories and see if there's anything that surprises you as far as the value. Now I did sell a while back on Etsy, these three barrettes I had picked up, same thing, I think just in a bag and they were all marked France and they're metal, different styles and everything like that, but I sold all three together for $42. And let's look at France hair combs. Okay. Same, same idea. Um, you know, you can go back, uh, hair accessories go back pretty far, right? So I am not, this video isn't about how to help you identify like celluloid, you know, Art Deco combs, certain, certain combs just have an antique look to them, right? But, you know, these are like 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever. We have this other antique one that they're, they're saying. 
Um, here's some other combs that just kind of look, well, this is kind of cool. I would look, I would look at any hair comb like this that has something on it that has rhinestones that has, there's versions that have a sterling silver section to it. You know, you always want to kind of, um, if the hair accessory looks a little bit fancier, just take a second look at it. Here's a little bit, lot. This is just an eighties hair comb. Same thing. Okay, this one has a, oh, it's a Miriam Haskell. Interesting. Made in France, just faux tortoise um, vintage hair combs. Here's a figural one, a whale shaped one. And again, here's some silver, silver uh, decorated ones. Maybe not sterling, but okay. So just double check what you've got or what you see. Some of these would just kind of fly under the radar as looking pretty basic, but you just never know. Next up, what did I look up? Okay, another 80s style that was really popular were the cloisonne um, hair combs like this. And so I did a quick search. I just was curious about it. Um, you know, quality can vary. I know there was ones that were, you know, less quality, lesser quality, like a dollar store style or whatever. But I just remember them being pretty, pretty common back then. And so as I was searching results, it was looking like the pairs were selling the best, right? So two or three together. Um, let's see, pair for $40 free shipping. As you can see, I'm, I've got it sorted highest to lowest. And so these are, um, the pairs are what are showing up the best, either two or more. So very interesting. I just feel like, you know, I got to look in my, in my drawers again. <laughs> Did I keep my stuff? I don't know. Okay. So speaking of other types of hair things I did here, let me show you guys some things real quick. Um, I did come across this bag at our little clearance center thrift store, kind of like the bin, Goodwill bins that you guys have. And it was just full of all sorts of things like this. Now, this is like, I guess we'd call it like a hair clip, a hair claw. Um, I don't know any other names for it that you can think of, like a butterfly claw clip kind of thing. So there's a few of those big ones. We'll talk about that. There's one of these. It's got like, um, you know, the clip up top, but then the flexible comb part. I used to always use the one that was this, this flexible comb, like all the way around. I used to use those all the time. Here's a pink version of that. I, this one might be marked Taiwan. So it might be a little bit more vintage. This one is marked Taiwan. It's a clip like this. I have no idea what that would be worth. That might just go in a lot, but, but different styles. And actually I probably will lot most of these up, but I just wanted to show you a couple other, if you guys remember banana clips. Okay. And then it goes all the way down to, you know, little small ones and you get really small those really, really tiny little clips. I think there might be one at the bottom, but those are so Y2K and they're having to come back now too. The thing is, is that a lot of places are, you know, making them again because they know there's that, um, desire for the, for that Y2K style again. But if we look at eBay for vintage hair clip, I added the word claw um, it starts off highest to lowest again with sterling, some sterling ones. And then Brighton made hair clips, so that's something to keep in mind. And those seem to sell pretty well. Um, here's a little lot of a bunch of different types of clips, which is kind of what I'm thinking I'll end up doing with, with some of mine. But then here's a made in France little hair claw clip. Here's some aluminum ones. We're going to talk about those later, 
But here, kind of like that one I showed you, it's a big claw. This is five of them. And then here's some clamps might be another word, right? Okay, here's a lot that looks a lot like the stuff that I have. Vintage Y2K hair claw. You know, all this different style. I have a bag of ones. I could probably get $25, $30 for the ones that, that bag that I just showed you. And that's something I picked up at our clearance center for hardly anything. Uh, here's another big one. Another Brighton one. This one's got rhinestones, so fancy ones. There's a bunch of those little Y2K. This, I think, are those mini ones, right? They're like, they might, might be sparkly or all different colors or whatever, and people would put them like all over their head. Y2K time. Okay, oh, I remember those. Those are, those, I just, yeah. Those were not my favorite, but $20 for an old package of them. What other kinds of fun stuff do we have? So this came up in my search, 80s teasers, it looks like. And this one is interesting because there's 23 results in solds. And most of the ones I'm seeing are pre-owned. You know, and it might only be $15 or so for these. But I think there's some new ones listed. Um... Let me see. Let me take it off. Sold for a second. Yeah, there's like someone's got one for $50. But it's interesting. It's the pre-owned ones that seem to be selling just fine. So like I said, you're going to want to look at sell-through rate on your own. You're going to want to, you know, see if that's worth something. Or if this is something you might just want to put in its own, put, you know, in a lot with some other things. Okay, let's, so I showed you the hair picks right at the beginning, so let's just do a quick search again of goodie. I did goodie hair pick. Another word is lifts, so a lot of times that's the word. It's a hair lift. I had found this one, uh, New Old Stock. It's by Wilhold, um, which is American Greetings Company. This is made in the USA, and I'll talk about that one in a minute, but... It says on the package, it calls it a hair lift. Okay. So the goodie unbreakable, $60 for that set, $55 for this lift comb set. There's a couple in there. This one's pre-owned. Here's a couple more that are pre-owned. And then these are like the ones that I'm, that I have, right? Those are selling from Canada. Okay, here's some with the metal, but then it has like the the coating at the bottom so it doesn't hurt quite so bad. But yeah, some picks to keep in mind. And Ace, these are also by Goody. I think the name of it is called Ace. But I just wanted to show you that. $25 for a new in package. Here's a hair lift again from the 70s. And then there's this cool one. It has a little case that it, that goes in it. And that one looks kind of similar to the one I had. Okay, so it gives you an idea. Just double check those goodie hair. And it's, like I said in the video where I showed these originally, these were 25 cents a piece, right? So, you know, we're not, we're not like, we're going to pay a, a small bill <laughs> with these, right? It's not like we're going to go rich on hair accessories. But one more thing to add to our little arsenal of knowledge and 25 cents into $15. Um, I'm going to do one listing. I finally decided I'm going to do one listing for these as a variation and they can pick their color. And that won't take very long. So... I'm excited. Same thing. This little pick, here's the will hold. I showed you the solds on that. So there's not one like mine in solds, um, but there is one um, for sale for like $25. Someone has one like mine. So we'll just, I don't know, we'll shoot for $25, $20 somewhere in there. And if we get $15, i will be happy. Same thing. I paid like $0.25 cents for that. 
Easy listings. Okay, so I just want to talk about banana clips because that's these right here in this lot that we looked at before. Um, now, it looks like if you look in solds that people are, um, they've, been, they've been redone, right? Like they're, they're coming out of China. Here's another one of these kinds of thingies. Okay, so it's really hard to find a sold for an actual vintage banana clip. I think they've just been, you know, redone. Ooh, there's a wedding one. <laughs> How funny. So I would say don't get too excited about banana clips like this because they're not selling super great. I would save them for a lot. And, and like I said, the lot that I'm going to put together, I'll just throw the banana clips in there with it. Next up. Okay, so I have one of these too. I don't know if you guys... If you guys have had one, and I was trying to think of what to call it, but there um, is, you know, it's usually a tooled leather little piece, and then it has the wooden stick that goes through it. So some people say a hair stick, a hair slide, um, a buckle barrette. Looks like Goody made them as well. Vintage sweep stick, buckle barrette, a sweep maybe. But as you can see, you know, $20, $15-$20 for these tooled leather little sets. I think mine was a, I'm trying to think if I picked it up when I went to South America or if someone gave it to me from one of their trips to South America, something like that. But anyway, very 90s. And... Let's talk hair brushes. Okay, so we were talking about picks, so we're going to talk about combs and brushes too. And this is something I came across. Stanley has some certain hair brushes and combs. Nylon bristles seem to be very important. $140 for this new old stock Stanley hairbrush set. Here's another one. Um, Stanley 4001, and they're called Commander with Box got bid up to $86. And here's some more Stanley ones. You know, the ones in the boxes are getting the highest prices. But here's a pre-owned set for 27. So Stanley, a couple Stanley combs. Just keep your eye open for that. A rat tail comb for $20. So Something I did not even think about before, but if you see Stanley new in the box, combs and brushes. And then Avon. I also wanted to talk about Avon because there's some crazy prices with Avon. There's a 2001 Avon Advanced Technique Styling Tool. $145, $126. Uh, a Flare Styler Brush. There's another Advanced Techniques. Here's an Avon Brown half round nylon bristle brush, $100, new old stock. There's a pink one. Okay, pink flare, I think it was called. This is the one that I've heard about over the years. I haven't found it yet. I do, whenever I see a pile of um, older Avon things, usually it's the perfumes and the Oh, I don't know, different things that are in those, you know, fun little bottles and, and things like that. But they all come in boxes. And so I always double check, even though most of those are not worth much. I always check all those boxes just in case there's some older Avon brushes or things like that in there. But as you can see, even some pre-owned ones not with the box um, can still do pretty good. And I would like just kind of memorize the shape and the color of those brushes and just see, see Avon Flare hairbrush pre-owned $75. So keep an eye out. See, this is what I mean. We've got this, this, it's an Avon slugger. It's a baseball bat. Like this could easily get confused for those Avon perfumes or, or things like that. So just take a double, double look on that one. I feel like my mom had this brush. That one looks really familiar. 60 bucks. And then Avon Combs, uh, it starts with a brush again, but here's some, here's a comb, sure winner, right? Kind of a race 
Avon Natural Performance Detangling Comb, a Barbie comb, Avon Cameo. This little set seems to go pretty good together. So, so far, leave me a comment down below. Do the prices of any of these surprise you? Have you sold any combs or brushes? Just leave me a comment down below. Are there other ones that you've had success selling? Look at Garfield. Um, you know, just let me know in the comments. Now, here's a brand I never had heard of, Mason Pearson, but this was coming up in my results. And this is still something you can buy today. I, these aren't necessarily vintage. They just have a vintage look, and I think they come out of England. But when I Googled it, you could still get, they're still $300 for this boar, boar bristle brush. Okay, so Mason Pearson, try to remember that name as well. And I also wanted to mention the vanity sets um, because I've sold a few of these and, you know, the, I'm not saying go out and buy all the vanity sets. Like condition has a lot to do with it. Some of these good prices, like this one is a guilloche. It's an enamel. It's a type of enamel, and but it's got floral and it's got all three pieces, which is really nice. Um, so we're just talking like, you know, it's a, usually a mirror, a brush, and a comb together. And the vanity sets actually can be really big and have lots of different things. But that's not what we're talking about today. So I just kind of filtered for the brush and the comb. And there are some like new in the box like this one. I've, I've had ones like that I've found at the thrift store. And like this one's not even super, super vintage. But, you know, just keep an eye out for ones in really good condition and maybe have both together, the comb and the brush. And and the mirror is nice, too. But I just wanted to mention that because those that does come up in results when you're searching for um, vintage combs and like how or brushes and how well they sell. And... Oh, I did a quick search for vintage perm rods. So I had found a big lot of vintage perm gear and stuff at my little clearance center. So again, I paid nothing. I think I have it listed for like 25 or $30. I did this big lot. Um, I haven't sold it yet, but you know, I just wanted to mention this, this 80s Vario curler definitely looks like something to keep an eye out for as well as this perm for a day. Here's some more of the metal. We'll talk about the metal in a minute. Uh, perm for a day, that comes up too. But my lot is kind of like this, right? Perm rods, um, different things like that. And then let's talk the aluminum hair clips. So we have aluminum curlers. And so in my lot that I had, I listed, I pulled out the metal ones. So these narrow little clips are for waving, like crimping, you know, making those, those waves in women's hair back in the day. Okay. So I pulled the, my metal stuff out so that I could sell that one separately out of the other, uh, perm stuff that I found. Um, now this is something very interesting. This vintage true wave aluminum and metal finger wave. Okay. That's what I meant. Those little finger waves. This is just one. This is from the 20s. And let's see, here's another couple. Okay, these, Mervin, two Mervin wave clips, vintage aluminum flapper hair waver, 1930s, 40s. They look like little ironing boards to me, but we're talking in the hundreds is what these are selling for. Okay, so let me go back and put highest first because I think that's what's going to you're going to see these 395 for four of those. I don't know. I mean, they say they're hard to find. So, uh, but I'm going to have my eyes open for them now too. I'm actually very interested in looking for any kind of metal type hair clip, uh, hair wave type things. Here's some big lots that are selling, you know, so, so, but anyway, Keep that in mind. One little wire clip one, you know, somewhere in the $30 range that sold for just for one. 
Then we looked for just vintage hair rollers in general, some new old stock ones. That's a lot of packages, 17 packages of them for $100. Um, you know, some of the hot rollers come up when you do this search. These do your research. Um, we've actually done pretty well recently with some that we've picked up. Um, but you want to do your research because not every hair roller, hot roller does super well, you know, new in the box again is, is going to be a good bet for you. I also came across these. I just was curious myself. Um, I looked up vintage brush hair rollers. Okay, not a ton of results. Um, so these are those like, I'm talking about like, like these, they're metal, right? I don't know. I think your hair would get like so tangled up in these. Um, but like these brush rollers, just two packs of these brush rollers, $25. Okay, $25 for this wire ball tip. These are these are pretty vintage. You can tell by her hairstyle. And they're aluminum, $25. Just something to keep in mind. And of course, our favorite. Um, this is what we're going to end on, I believe. We are going to end on Remington Tight Curls as my favorite hot rollers to sell. <laughs> And again, we're starting highest to lowest. We've sold ours in this easily in the $70 range, um, pre-owned without clips or, or anything like that. But new in the box, we've got 125, 129, 129. Okay. And we're coming down, 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 down. Still at $100. Here's a used, no clips. Right. So Remington tight curls, you'll know it by the blue rollers and it's kind of a small little case and the rollers are skinny. They're not, you know, some rolling roller sets are there's wide ones and skinny ones. This whole thing is the skinny ones and they use it for pageants. Um, and, and such like that is what they're popular for. Okay. So that's, I, you guys have stuck with me long enough <laughs> talking about and researching these hair accessories together. I hope you guys go out and are able to find something valuable. I always love it when you leave me a comment later on that, you know, whether it's utensils or ties or things like that, that you hadn't thought to look at before. And then you start looking at them that you were able to sell some. So, you know, just don't go crazy. I don't want you blaming me that you're your death pile got really big because you went out and bought everything. You know, you still have to be selective and, and do your research. Um, some things that you find might just be best lotted up. You know, you find a little baggie uh, of barrettes or hair things for two or three dollars at the thrift store and you, you sell them for $25. I would do that all day long. I love doing stuff like that. So new old stock, look for goodie. Look for a goody new old stock and that that is kind of a, a safe bet on certain things. Might not be the highest dollar, but you could always end up lotting it up later on if it turns out not to be as great as you thought. Anyway, thank you guys as always for joining me on one of these research videos and feel free to check out my other videos of other subjects. Like I said, if you're an everything reseller and you don't specialize, we, we try to talk about stuff like this fairly often and dig around and just make thrifting a lot more fun. It means I can stay longer in the thrift store because I have to look at everything. <laughs> anyway, uh, I will talk to you guys again later and I hope you have a great rest of the day.